Welcome to Fanor Photo Gallery version 2.0 installation video. This video focuses on how to install the photo gallery on your website. Visit ParallelEx.com, click on Fanor Photo Gallery under Products, and then click on the Download tab to download the product on your computer. Unzip the product. The product uses a MySQL database to store information. You will first need to create a MySQL database. After in creating the database, note your database host name, database name, username, and password. Open the downloaded photo gallery product. Click on the photo gallery folder. Open the config-data.php file, and enter the database host name, database name, username, and password of the database you just created. Please visit our channel to find video on how to create database using GoDaddy and HSphere. If you are using another hosting provider and do not know how to create a database, please contact your hosting provider's technical support for directions on how to create a MySQL database. After entering the database information in configdata.php file, open the FTP software you use to connect to your website. Establish the connection and upload the example.php file, example.css file and the entire photo gallery folder to your server. After the files have been uploaded successfully, open the Photos folder and set the chmod settings of the temp and thumbnail folder to 777. Go back to the Photos folder and set the chmod settings on the Photos folder to 777 as well. Now open any web browser and visit yourdomain.com slash photo gallery slash install. Your domain is your own website URL. Review all the information on the installation screen and make sure photos, temp, and thumbnail folders are writable. Also check that the connection to the database succeeds. Click install, read the license agreement, click I accept and click next. Enter your name, email, username and password. and click Next. Installation is now complete. Click Login to visit and use the Admin Panel. I am going to create few categories and upload few photos. After you have uploaded few photos, you can use example.php file provided with the product to view the photo gallery front end. You can also include the main page.php file in any of your website's PHP file where you want the photo gallery to show. For example, you can make a copy of any of your PHP pages and name it photos.php and then include the main page.php in the photos.php file. If you do not want to show the list of all galleries and only want to show a particular category on one of your PHP pages, you can copy the category ID from the admin panel and assign the category ID to the CAD variable before including the main page.php file. When done, upload the files to your server. The photo gallery front end is now configured on your website.
After installation, delete the install folder under the photo gallery folder from your server. To log in to your admin panel, visit your domain.com slash photo gallery. To view your front end, visit your domain.com slash example.php, or if you created your own file such as photos.php, visit your domain.com slash photos.php URL to view the front end. Visit the admin panel to configure the photo width, photo height, number of photos to display in a row, and number of rows to display on a page. To learn about more options, view the Fanora version 2.0 configuration video for a configuration tutorial. Have a great day!